automatic gearbox from Ford. Uh, what is it? 6DCT450. Uh, so for some reasons, for some strange reasons, my multimeter is showing different resistances on each solenoid. So I need to get that checked by a professional multimeter, which is a little bit more than just 10 quid. So I'll get that checked over. They all should have around three, 3.5 ohms, but mine is showing 70, 15, or 27 some strange numbers so i'll get that checked that already been all apart um, and cleaned so now that's the part that does the gears um that been all cleaned as well some washes that's the old filter which i will talk about in a minute um, and that's the new filter um, so my plan is to replace this filter yeah, covered with this stuff um, so my plan is to replace this filter without taking the gearbox apart and as you can see here I've done significant damage but that's because I had to remove it um, in a brutal way so um, because this bolt this hole here for the for the bolt from the back because when you look at the let's go underneath here so that's what you can see so the filter is here that's the hole for the oil to the pump and that's the hole here um, for the bolt so if I'll be able to slightly gently grind the top of the tube from the filter down it will be slightly shorter and I'll be able to just squeeze it in put it that in the hole and secure it with the bolt should be good then um, so yeah that's that's my plan because Obviously, I don't want to take the whole gearbox out and then apart to change the filter. Um, so, the plan is to grind this little lip down a little bit so that I can, um, you know, just slide the filter. Oh, come on. Okay, got it. So I just want to grind this little lip slightly, ever so slightly, one mil maybe, so that I can, you know, just squeeze it, hopefully, without cracking, damaging it. And, because um, obviously it's secured with a bolt anyway, so yeah, it's not like it will matter too much. It's still in one place, on one height, so and the seal is there so it should be all right the seal is there only for the pump here that's a bit higher so this doesn't suck air from that surround but only sucks the fluid through the um through the filter and also um the filter is still in fluid anyway probably till there so it's not like you'll make any difference so it should be all right so let's just hope for the best i will keep you updated um because obviously i will i will um grind this down and i'll try it i'll grind it down and i'll try it so it's not like i'll i've got set um distance that i need to grind off that that will be my experiment that i'll do first time yeah. so yeah and the next part um next part of this video gonna be me opening this filter because i'm really curious because this gearbox ran for 80 exactly 80,000 miles before you actually first time broke down without oil change so yeah i'm really curious of how bad it is inside obviously there are loads of plastic bits inside but 
once I'll take it apart we'll have a look here for instance on this part of the of the filter how it looks how it bad how bad it is um, looking at the magnets obviously uh, yeah ain't good because they've got loads and loads of metal filings mm, so yeah that's all metal although it's nice and spongy but that's all metal so yeah I want to take it apart and see how it looks inside so hold on right so I've cut this down this original well the new filter um, neck that's the old one so you can see more or less how much I've cut um, that's the bit I've cut so why is it 0.5 of a mil maybe should yeah somewhere around that the thickness of the of the blade basically so now the plan is to put a little bit of lube on that um, and just see if it fits hopefully it fits right so I've literally got no place to mount my phone um, so that I can show you how I'm fitting the filter so I think what I'll do I'll just hold it in my hand um, I'll try to just somehow maybe I just loads of wires and no room I'll try to fit the filter with one hand but that is yeah well, you see and that's how basically the the height of the seal that's how much I need to squeeze the filter in order to push it into where it's supposed to be and that's a problem because the filter is actually it's not straight as you can see where it goes where the filter here ah, there this part where the tube is it's actually at the bottom it's actually higher than on the beginning of the filter it would be other way around it would be no problem because I could just slide that in but here there's a problem and I don't know exactly how to overcome that issue because I'll damage the filter it's a game over See, there is a little bit of flex in it, but uh, I don't even know how tense it is here. You know? Maybe I'll heat the, the filter up so that it's more flexible. Let's try that. So I'll use my heat gun to heat the filter up round so that it gives a little bit more flex to the plastic. And maybe I'll be able to just squash it far enough to basically squash that down without cracking and just sliding it in. Hooray! Voila! So I've got the filter in. Um, basically all you need to do is just loads of heat loads and I mean like you know proper hot if I would have a, my temperature gauge I would probably tell you that it's hard to touch this plastic still but obviously it's very important because you don't want to crack uh, the plastic so edges and the main part where this uh, the oil neck is that has to be boiling hot and obviously I've used my um well what is it breaker bar crowbar lever bar um but this end obviously that goes underneath here pushing the filter down like that and then on top of that i've put my sort of long um ex well not extension fir tree sort of tool you know on top of that and to give it more leverage and then the little one 
Um, I've used at the back here to push the filter in place because obviously you need two hands. So as you can see, the filter is in nice. So time to just put the bolts in and happy days. So more or less, that's how you change the filter. Shame I couldn't mount the phone anywhere here because it would actually be a nice short, well, the short, nice clip for you to see how how I did it. As you can see, you can change the internal filter of the 6DCT450 gearbox. So you can change the internal filter without um, opening it up. So happy days. And um, obviously this is not recommended for people who ain't got a clue about mechanics. So I'll just tell you that now because it's easy to damage stuff. But if you have a little bit of mechanical knowledge and you are re really into mechanics like these little things like changing oils, filters and stuff, then yep, this is definitely a thing worth trying doing yourself. So the next task is going to be how to fill this gearbox up with oil because it's not just pour it in job done it's a little bit more complicated but i'll tell you that in the next episode so stay tuned subscribe if you like the video drop a comment for the algorithm purposes and um, i'll see you in the next one take care okay last thing um so once you got the filter in and it's secured with that little 20 t27 bolt um is it t27 yep t27 don't forget about fill the magnets i took them off because obviously the less things you go underneath the filter the further you can bend the filter down anyway so one goes here so I just slot that there yep and the other one goes just here Don't forget about them because they are very important, especially in this gearbox. So, yeah, now it's time to take the uh, heat exchanger, oil cooler, however you want to call it, and uh, time to wash that as well inside.